I've been observing you boys and girls all semester recite the Pledge of Allegiance, and it seems to me as if it's becoming monotonous to you. If I may, may we recite it and explain to you the meaning of each word. I, me, an individual, a committee of one. Pledge, dedicate all my worldly good to give without self-pity. Allegiance, my love and my devotion. To the flag, our standard, old glory, a symbol of freedom, wherever she reigns, there's respect, because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shells. Freedom is everybody's job! United, that means we all come together. States, individual communities that have united into 48 great states. Individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose. All divided by imaginary boundaries, yet united with one common purpose, and that's love for our great country. And to the Republic, a state in which sovereign power is invested in representatives chosen by the people to be the government. And the government is the people, and it's from the people to the leaders, not the leaders to the people. For which it stands, one nation, under God, meaning so blessed by God, indivisible, incapable of being divided. With liberty, which is freedom, the power of right to live one's life without fear of threats or any sort of retaliation. Justice, the principle or quality of dealing fairly with others. For all, which means, boys and girls, is much your, our, your country as mine. Since I was a young boy, two states have been added to our country and two words have been added to the Pledge of Allegiance. Under God. Now wouldn't it be a pity if someone said that was a prayer and tried to have it eliminated also? May we all stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance.